Hey guys, it's Lex. Welcome back to our channel. Today I'll be doing a Valentine's Day inspired makeup tutorial based off of this look right here. So if you would like to learn how to create this look and just a little bit of pro tips along the way, keep watching. Because I'm going for such a dominant pink eye look, I'm going to be using our absolutely amazing Amazonian Clay 12 hour blushes to do this. And I'm slowly gonna build up the look. Um, so I'm gonna start by using the shade Party from our Amazonian Clay 12 hour blushes. And I'm just gonna buff that all in my crease as my transition shade. Next, I'm going to be using the shade Flush, which is this really gorgeous, very pink shade right here. And this is also an Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush, and I'm going to buff this in the same places that I buffed Party. I'm just going to take it a little heavier and build it up. Same brush. I want to focus on the outer corner as well, so really buffing the color into my outer corner and then bringing it up into my crease and kind of doing that windshield wiper motion. And then I'm also gonna take a little bit of flush and place it along my lower lash line. And I'm just using a nice precise pencil brush for this. And then the last shade I'm gonna use to build up my crease color is going to be Blushing Bride. And I love these blushes because not only are they really pigmented, but they also have Amazonian clay in them. So they're gonna have that 12 hour power. They're gonna stay on all day and you're not gonna have to worry about your shadow creasing or dissipating as far as the color payoff goes. So you can trust in these. That's why I seriously love them so much. And I just rolled my brush in here. I'm using the same brush that I used to buff in the other two shades. And starting in the outer corner and then working my way towards the inner part of the crease. See, now we're getting that really intense pink shade that we were looking for. And then I'm also gonna buff some of Blushing Bride on my lower lash line too. The tricky part, to cut my crease, I'm going to be using our Shape Tape Concealer and I'm just gonna be using the shade that I normally wear which is Light Medium Honey. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit on the back of my hand like this. And I'm just gonna be using a nice flat brush to just kind of sweep this. It's very tiny um, and I'm going to really focus on the inner corner bringing it to the center of the lid. We're also gonna go back in and clean up the crease, the cut crease. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it in a little bit. All right, so the hard part is done. Now let's clean up that crease just a little bit more. And I'm going to be using my nice precise pencil brush for this, going back in with the shade Flush. And I'm literally just gonna place this like right around where I just placed my concealer, just so that it's nice and clean. All right, now I'm going to be using our Chrome Paint Shadow Pot in the shade Top Yacht. And if you guys watch my tutorials, you know that this is one of my favorite shades of the Chrome Paint Shadow Pot, so I tend to use it quite a bit. I'm just gonna be tapping into the shadow with this nice pigment brush. And then I'm gonna be laying it right over the top of where we placed our 
concealer and I'm just gonna tap. I'm also gonna place a little bit of tapia on the inner corner. I'm just gonna buff it out a little so I'm gonna use more of like a fluffier brush just to buff this on the inner corner. So now to glam up the look, bring it from zero to 100 real quick, I'm going to be using our foil finger paint shadow palette, which as you guys know, this is one of my favorite palettes currently. And I'm just gonna be tapping into the shade Stargazer right here, the really pretty iridescent shade. And I'm gonna place that all over the lid and I'm also gonna highlight a little bit with it. So let's do this. And I really like to tap the glitter on to where I want it to go just because I feel like I'm really able to control it better. And as you guys know, I love glitter. Just love it so much. But I also want to do a little bit of rose gold action in this look because I feel like that's kind of what it's missing. So I'm going to be using our Tardis Pro Glitter Liner. And I'm going to be using the glitter side just to really cut around this crease. And I'm also going to place a little bit on my lower lash line. Just because no look is complete without glitter. I just love the glitter. some on the lower lash line. Next, I'm gonna be going in with our Fake Awake Eye Brightener. I'm just gonna be placing this in my waterline just to really open up my eyes, and I thought that it would really complement the color scheme that I'm going with. I love this stuff because it really does open up the eye. Like, look at that, look at the difference. It just looks more open. This eye look would for sure not be complete without our TARDIS Double Take Liquid Liner. So I'm going to be creating an awesome wing, I'm hoping that it's awesome. And I like to start from the inner corner, drag my way out, and then build my wing from there. So I like to think of this as like the foundation of the winged liner and then I'm gonna create the wing. And I like to go from the outer corner aiming up towards the tail of my brow. Just like this. And then connecting the two lines together. One down, one to go. See if we can make the match. Now I'm applying some of our lashes in the style Goddess. I went ahead and applied some black lash adhesive. I'm going to pop them on. To glam up the highlight, I'm going in with the same shade Stargazer from our Foil Finger 
palette and I'm just gonna place some on the high points of my cheeks. For my lips today, I'm going in with our Tardis Quick Dry Matte Lip Paint in the shade Festival. And I thought that it would match really nicely with my eye look and I didn't really want to do anything too bold, so this is the shade that I'm using. And I've actually found that this is a really, really beautiful, like, everyday mauve color, so it's one of my faves. Fun little tip, if you take the other side of our rose gold glitter liner, it actually works really well as like a highlight for your cupid's bow. So I'm just gonna tap a little bit of that on my cupid's bow. It's actually a cool little trick that I learned from Meg. on how to create this glam, rose gold, sexy, glittery situation for Valentine's Day. I loved creating this look for you guys and I actually got it from one of our subscribers. She had commented on one of my recent vlogs and said that I should do a sexy, glam Valentine's Day look. So I hope that this is up to those standards. Her name is actually right here. So thank you so much for that comment and for the idea of this vlog. I'm actually going to be shouting out in every vlog that I do who I got the idea from as far as my subscribers go. So make sure to comment down below what you wanna see next and maybe you'll be featured in my next video. But I wanted to wish you guys a happy Valentine's Day even though it's not here yet. I hope that not only are you spending it with the person that you love but that you're also giving yourself a little bit more love on that day because self love is the most important love guys. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye Tartlets. Love you, happy Valentine's Day. I'm so obnoxious. Bye guys. <laughs>